Denver charged with mowing down four people outside a Shinola store last summer will spend the next four to 15 years in prison. But it was an emotional day in court as the victim's family spoke of his legacy. 7 Action News reporter Shelley Childers has more on how the killer defended his actions. It was an emotional day in court for family members finally able to address DeAndre Simmons, the man who took their uncle's life. DeAndre Simmons pled guilty to four charges against him. Police say the 42 year old from Inkster was intoxicated and driving this blue truck on a suspended license when he slammed into four people in Midtown this past June. And this guy comes barreling down in a blue pickup truck going like 45 miles an hour down Canfield. 72 year old John McDaniels, a Vietnam veteran, was killed when Simmons crossed the center line, hitting him and three others. In court, his niece Ruth described how an outing downtown on a warm summer day turned into horror. They stopped by a special event outside Shinola with Tesla vehicles, always an interest to an engineer, were on display. And that's where John's life ended. Family says John, who never married, was an avid volunteer, mentor, and community leader in Milford. John had a smile for everyone. He was universally liked, loved, and admired by so many people. She described the injuries he lived with for 12 hours before passing. A crushed pelvis broken hips, broken ribs, dislocated kneecaps, massive internal bleeding, and multiple internal injuries. Two others were also severely injured and a fourth declined medical attention. In court, Simmons asked for forgiveness for this crash. I would like to apologize to the family, the victims, for the life that has been taken and those that was hurt during this accident. I am not a threat to society nor to, nor to the community. Today he was sentenced to four to 15 years in prison. The family says they are hopeless, angry and saddened. Today we learn in court that John McDaniels was just one day shy of his 73rd birthday when he died. Reporting in Detroit, Shelley Childers, 7 Action News. Crime